Okay guys, it's been quite a while since we shot anything. I probably got a couple uh, saved up in the archive here, but uh, this is the most recent thing I've got going on. I, I went and purchased, maybe against my better judgment, this 69 450 crawler loader backhoe. Got a boom on the back there as well. You probably can't see from here, but you can see the outrigger sticking out there. So she's sitting down a hillside here. You can see this bank. Yeah, I bought it from through through this track a couple years ago. This grease adjuster keeps backing off. So through the track, put the track back on, through the track again. Got frustrated and let it sit a couple years. So he threw a battery in it and hit the button and she don't want to turn. So he had a couple of people come look at it, said it was locked up. One guy pulled the belly pan off, another guy pulled the valve cover, checked it. And, and you know, externally, I, I well, as internally as you could go, I guess, as far as the valve cover goes, everything looked good. So I came out, this is the first time I really started working on it. And I pulled the starter, which was a joy. That's down in there. And uh, I put, I got one of those long, extendable, adjustable rolling head bars, like a lady slipper, I guess you call it, some people call it. I stuck it in the starter hole, tried prying. Actually, first, first things that I did, I, I put a new fresh battery in a good battery and I clicked the starter a bunch of times and the fan, wiggles so the crank ain't locked up it didn't spin a bearing or anything guy said it ran beautiful before he let it sit so i pulled the starter put the bar in there put my long um regular pry bar on there with metal end on it tried hammering it down the other way and uh nothing can't can't get any movement out of it so i'm at a point where now i've, I've decided i'm gonna pull the injectors i already have and uh, I'm gonna douse this thing with some PB or Marvel Mystery Oil or Crow Oil or whatever I've got in a truck. Let it sit for a week or so, maybe a couple weeks. The guy's pretty lenient on getting this thing out of here. And uh, come back and, and try the bar method again. See if I can bust it free. And uh, maybe throw the starter back in there, give it a couple wax with the starter and see what happens i stuck a piece of like hard strawy grass shit that was growing down here in the holes for the injectors and there isn't standing water in in any of them i got black carbon on the end of the the uh, grass or stick thing that i pulled out of the hole so like i don't see any signs of rust so i, I think I think it's just, you know, just a little bit stuck. I don't think it got water in it. I think it's just stuck from sitting. And maybe a little condensation got in there and and rusted the thing fast. But uh, I, I don't think it's like a ruined cylinder or anything like that. I, I, I've done some pretty old stuff that's been sitting a long time. I had one of them, or Claire broke the piston out of it just hammering it out of the bore it was so stuck in there because mice had gotten in the damn thing and pissed all over this the piston rotted it to nothing but um i don't know man this thing's pretty cool 69 john deere 450 with a with a backhoe attachment that's you know it's in pretty decent shape really and like i said the guy said it ran beautiful before he uh, threw the track and let it sit for a couple of years so I bought it on the cheap gonna use it around the house a little bit do some projects that I want to get done over the next couple of years and then either buy some property up north and bring it up there to use or, or sell the damn thing but uh, thing is pretty cool so I guess we'll pick it up here next time when I'm back out here in a couple of weeks trying to bar this thing over again there is absolutely no good spot to get anything you know worth a shit on the crankshaft 
there's a hydraulic pump in here below the radiator this this whole nose piece is all cast i don't know some of you probably already know all this but i've never worked on one of these old 450s like this you know there's there's no access underneath hardly i pulled the floor pans saw a couple rubber plugs you know but i figured they, they were a little bit farther back than you know the front of the bell housing where you could get to the ring gear ain't nothing in there just a big hex head i don't know what the hell it is i haven't even read the service manual on this yet but I thought I thought I was going to get lucky. There was a hole on the side of the bell housing. I'll show you. Just so some of you don't get fooled, I guess. This little bastard right there. You see that? I thought that was going to be a barring hole for an engine turning tool. Well, it ain't. It's a square hole. Kind of, you know, squared off a little bit. So... My my deer turning tool is too damn big for the hole anyhow, so maybe there's one that's supposed to fit in there, and I, I don't know what the hell the deal with the square hole is, but I figured the next best thing would be to pull the starter and get right on the ring gear with a big bar if I can. And even at that, I don't have a whole lot of leverage because you don't have the room behind this stupid loader frame, you know? You'd have to jack the loader frame up to, to get a long bar in there at a good angle, so that's why that... That rolling head bar, I figured, might help out a little bit. But either way, we'll get this son of a bitch figured out. I'm hoping I don't have to pull the head. I don't think I'm gonna. I mean, if this thing was rusted up like that, I, I think I would have saw a sign of rust in the cylinder. You know, the ends of the injectors. This here was was number four. The ends of the injector looks great. You know carbony not rusty so yeah I don't, I don't see any real signs of rust in there so we're gonna keep on keeping on and uh we'll get some more videos out here shortly